What's up everybody, welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna to be talking about fall muskie fishing and five of my favorite baits for this time of the year. So at this time of the year, the muskie are starting to move deeper. They're moving away from those shallow weeds. Um, the weeds are starting to die that they were in in the spring and summer and they're putting off bad oxygen in the water. So the fish are starting to move away from those. They're either moving to new fresh weeds if they can find any, otherwise they're kind of moving to different structure, different rock piles, humps, uh, points, things like that, any kind of timber. And this is kind of where you're starting to target them at this time of the year. So here are five baits that I like to use for this time of the year and why. So bait number one is going to be a subsurface walking bait. Baits such as this Gliden Raider here or a X Wrap are awesome choices for the fall because when you're in that deep structure, if you can find a certain rock pile, a tree, uh, like brush pile or something that you think those fish are in, the awesome thing with this is you can fish it so slow and you can suspend it right down, you can let it sink and you can twitch it right in place. So that's the awesome thing. You can keep it right over that cover that you think the fish are going to be in at this time of the year. So once you find that spot, um, it might be an isolated uh, timber or something that you think there's going to be a fish on. You can cast, you can let it sink right to it and just walk it in place right over that. That often gets those slow lethargic fish to come out and hit this meal as it's a nice sized bait. Alright, that is why I hate filming in public. This is like my fifth try trying to make this video. They, people keep driving by, slamming doors. Now the second bait is going to be a crankbait. Baits such as a Storm here or Jake's, Grandma's, things like that with the nice flat profile on the side are really nice. The good thing about these baits is they have such a tight wobble when you fish them at slow speeds. So this is really natural for the bait fish at this time. It's a great, easy, slow meal for the muskies. And this one happens to be like a nine inch bait, so it's still a really good size profile for them. So that's gonna be the second bait for this time of year. Now, if you've ever gone musky fishing before, a bait you've probably thrown is a bucktail. This one is a really nice one here. I like anywhere from a size eight to 10 blade, even bigger if you can find them for this time of the year. They have a nice big profile uh, body to them and they put off a huge vibration even when being fished slow. So these ones, the bigger ones are super easy. You can fish them really slow and they're still gonna have that nice vibration. You don't have to worry like the small size six blades where you have to really jerk your rod to get it going. This one you can fish super slow and it's still gonna roll. You get that nice enticing act or noise with it and a nice profile. This bright kind of tinsel is really nice in that dark deep water. And this one happens to be one from Esox Assault. The cool thing about this one is it has a size 10 and a size nine blade. So that's a really cool bait and really any big bucktail at this time of the year is great. You can also fish it shallow. If you find those uh, weeds that are still alive, you can cast, go right above them, or you can even sink it down, let it sink into those deep rock piles, things like that. So it's really a universal bait. Now number four is going to be what most guys think of when you think of fall musky fishing. That is big rubber. Baits like this Medusa here or a Bulldog are excellent options because you can fish them so deep. You can They have this nice uh, head weight that's really heavy and it's going to pull the bait right down uh, really quickly and you can get down to those deep depths. This is awesome for on rock piles, things like that and it has a super nice action out of these big tails and even at a slow speed you can really get some action out of these. The also great thing about this is you really can't fish it wrong. You can cast and reel it, you can hop it off the bottom, you can vertical jig it if you want. This bait's really a bait that you can't fish wrong and in this deep water is an excellent option. They come like every five minutes. 
Now, if you just musky fish, this fifth bait is probably something you haven't heard of, and that is a big bass glide bait. This one happens to be a Livingston here and is about 10 inches long. And the cool thing about this Livingston is it has the electronic bait fish noises in it. So what that means is once it hits the water, it, the water kind of creates a current going through it of electricity, and it puts off this noise through the speakers in it and it creates this nice natural like shad imitation noise which is something that bait or fish really haven't heard before the only noise they typically get is from your rattles of crankbaits and stuff but the bad thing about those is you have to be moving it pretty fast to get that and it's still the same noise in every one so this is something really different and the other cool thing about it being a glide bait is it has a super wide swimming action on it especially when you fish it slow so you can just cast it out and reel it it'll have kind of a tighter one or you can slightly uh, just jerk your rod and it's gonna have a nice wide action you can get about two feet of uh, diameter out of this one and it's a really cool bait for fishing slow so it has those really cool actions and the other thing is you can pull these weights out of it and get it to float you can get it to sink way down different options so this Livingston glide bait here is an awesome bait for fall musky fishing and something you guys probably have never thrown <music> So those are five of my favorite fall time musky baits. If you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up button below. Also subscribe while you're down there. And if you have any baits that you thought should have been in this or different ones you want to learn more about that I had in this video, you can comment below and I'll answer you. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys on the next episode.